sex and politics. Is the next commander in chief temperamentally fit to protect your sexual health? I am Dr. Sanjaya, America's sex educator, and it is election season 2016 in the good old U.S. of A. On Tuesday, November 8th, this country will make one of the most important, the most important, the most important decisions in its history. Before voting for the next American president, it is our patriotic duty to ensure that the elected leader of the free world will protect our rights to have happy, healthy, and fulfilling sexual relationships. This isn't just an election, it's a tipping point. For the country. For the world. For your world. So in the last couple of weeks, we examined how the potential presidential spouses could influence sexual policies in America. Melania said, politics and policy is her husband's job. She stays in her lane. Now that doesn't sound empowering to women to me, that sounds more obedient. It is possible that after 240 years of male presidents, America may finally elect a male first lady. And <laughs> as America's potential first ladies man, Bill Clinton is already making spousal history. Today, we start discussing the candidates themselves. Which potential presidential candidate is going to do a better job of prioritizing our rights to sexual freedom, sexual health, and sexual satisfaction. Is the government stripping away private rights or improving moral values? So to do this, we focus on three specific areas. Their past, how has their past performance prepared them to protect and enhance sexual health and rights in America? If it wasn't for television, would Donald Trump be running for president? No. He would be at home right now, quietly rubbing up against his wife, Malaria, while she pretends to be asleep. Now, we also examine their family values because we have got to prepare the next generation. And everybody knows that parents are the most influential role models for sexual relationships. Melania's father. They look exactly alike. That's scary, isn't it? I mean, when they're in bed and she says, Daddy, I mean, that's crazy to me. And finally, we dissect the candidate as a potential role model for sexual health. What messages are they sending through their behaviors? What sexual values are they going to model for the rest of the world? When you're a star, they'll let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. What the fuck? If he's going to be rude to ladies, he shouldn't be a president. I have three wonderful daughters at home. Good. And I want nothing more for them than to look at their president as a role model. Throughout the course of this campaign, you've said some disparaging comments about women. Explain to me how I can look at my daughters and have them look up to a President Trump as a role model. Well, first of all, no, but who, who asked you to give this question? Did so you treat women with respect? Uh, I can't say that either. All right, good, all right. What is more offensive? A little girl saying fuck or the fucking on equal and sexist way? Society treats girls and women. And since most men come First, in America, today we're talking about Trump. Donald Trump is potentially the worst idea that ever happened to America. In 2004, you said in most cases you identified as a Democrat. Even in this campaign, your critics say you often sound more like a Democrat than a Republican, calling several of your opponents on this stage things like clowns and puppets. When did you actually become a Republican? Do the math. You know, the presidential candidate who has five children by three wives, and each of those wives are former models slash actresses who are significantly younger than the wife that preceded them. In other words, as Trump gets older, his wives get younger. 30 is like a perfect age. Absolutely. She had enough life experience. Until she's 35. <laughs> what is it at 35, Howard? It's called checkout time. That's right. <laughs> The truth is, each of Trump's wives have a unique story that gives insight into how Trump deals with sexual relationships and how his actions could impact sexual health and policies for all Americans, especially women. 
I will be great on women's health issues. I cherish women. She must be terrific in bed. She is terrific in bed. Now, she wouldn't want me to say that. I will be great on women's health issues. Millions and millions of women, cervical cancer, breast cancer, are helped by Planned Parenthood. But I would defund it because I'm pro-life. And I wouldn't fund it. I would defund it. I cherish women. Whoa. I did try and fuck her. She was married. <laughs> huge news there. Now, most people know that Trump's first wife, Ivana, reported that he raped her while they were married. Trump had done uh, plastic surgery to get rid of a bald spot on his head. Uh, and he apparently came in yelling at her, according to her initial account, uh, saying, your doctor fucking ruined me because he was in so much pain. So he uh, tore her clothes off, started ripping her hair out, saying, you see how it feels, you see how it feels? Ivana is terrified. It is a violent assault, according to versions she repeats to some of her closest confidants. Quote, he raped me. I mean, me, I like candidates who don't rape their wives. Even Bill Cosby today was like, Jesus, at least I'm thoughtful enough to give them a drug in their drink. Another thing that happened while they were married was that Ivana successfully ran some of Trump's business ventures. And I sent her down to Atlantic City to run a casino. And she did a very good job. But according to Trump, her professional success, well, it completely ruined their marriage. I think that putting a wife to work is a very dangerous thing. I mean, we'll, make, we'll do an educational program here, okay? <laughs> and he vowed to never allow another wife to get involved with his business dealings. I think it's a really bad idea. I think that was the single greatest cause of what happened to my marriage with Ivana. She became an executive, not a wife. Now, Ivana tells a completely different story, by the way. And according to her, the demise of her marriage to Trump, well, it was all due to his cheating with Marla Maples. Well, you now are married to a woman and you who would like to continue her career. Marla says she does want to have a career. You have said you don't want Marla to work. You actually said no. that on, yeah, on the day of the wedding, actually. I, I think I'm probably mixed. I have days where I think it's great. And then I have days where if I come home and, you know, I don't want to sound too much like a chauvinist, but when I come home and dinner's not ready, I go through the roof, okay? Now, I know that women who are married and work is still a revolutionary concept to some people. But America, how do you feel about a potential president who claims that a working wife ruins marriages? Um, hello and hell no. You know what's interesting, Donald, is you take these women and you help them become very well known. And then when they want to act on that appeal, you seem to get upset about it. I create stars. I love creating stars. Yeah. And to a certain extent, I've done that with Ivana. To a certain extent, I've done that with Marla. And I like that. Unfortunately, after their star, the fun is over for me. It's like a creation process. It's almost like creating a building. It's pretty sad. Fucked up fact. Now, Donald's second marriage to Marla Maples was the shortest of all three of his marriages. And when you consider his marriage patterns, this could have something to do with Marla being an American woman. We were so different. It could get a little bit combative, as you can probably imagine, because I, I came in, yes, from Georgia, family values and, and a strong sense of, um, you know, spiritual growth, always wanted to be the best I can. You see, American women, well, we're very different from Donald's other two wives, which came from countries that were once ruled by the Hitler regimen. Hitler and Donald Trump. Donald Trump's wife, Melania, until the age of 14, she lived in a communist-style apartment block. I was born in a communist country, so I know when I see them or hear them, the mother to three of Trump's grown children told Page Six. Don't compare Donald Trump to Adolf Hitler. It belittles Hitler. And let's face it, when you've been raised in a place that was formerly controlled by Hitler, uh, you could see how a woman would consider Donald as uh, the lesser of two evils. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't started killing people based on their ethnicity yet. A racist, abusive coward who could permanently damage the fabric of our society. But he has made some threatening statements to women that could indicate he might start killing them soon, especially those American women if they keep speaking up their minds. If she gets to pick her judges, 
Nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. But Holy <laughs> Donald Trump suggested that people with guns do something about Hillary. Do we really want to give nuclear weapons to a man whose signature move is firing? Firing? Firing things? You see us American women, we're not really cool with the death threats or being raped. Donald Trump has been accused of raping a 13-year-old girl in federal court in New York. And I think this is shocking because until now, we all thought Trump was such a good guy. <laughs> the sexual assault took place at a party held by billionaire Jeffrey Epstein, who pleaded guilty a few years back to soliciting sex from underage girls. Now there's another woman identified in these documents as Tiffany Doe. She supports the allegation, saying she also met Jeffrey Epstein. And you might think Trump would deny even knowing Jeffrey Epstein, right? But he said in New York Magazine a few years ago, I've known Jeff for 15 years, terrific guy. He's a lot of fun to be with. It is even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do. And many of them are on the younger side. No doubt about it, Jeffrey enjoys his social life. Jesus Christ! Put it away, Donald. One out of every five women will be sexually assaulted or raped by a man. One. Two, three, four, five. Which one of us will it be? We can save the day. For our children. For our children. For our children. And I have never, ever, ever met an American woman who enjoys being insult simply because our bodies perform miracles like menstruating. You know, you could see there was blood coming out of her eyes. Uh, blood coming out of her wherever. It what is more offensive? America. You have to ask yourself, is a man who can't deal with American women respectfully the right person to advance sexual health policies that will impact all American women? He absolutely groped me. He just slipped his hand there, touching my private parts. Start teaching boys not to fucking rape. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. I can do anything. Can we, can we just analyze, grab them by the pussy? He's, he's saying from his words what he does. What kind of person grabs the pussy? <laughs> I don't get it. Do you not know ladies? Like, m maybe, it's, maybe it's a tiny hands thing. Maybe, <laughs> no, like maybe, maybe he can't hold it or caress it. Will this man make sure that people who do rape other people actually get convicted? Donald Trump and Mike Pence are making sexual assault great again. <laughs> Will a man who insults female reproductive processes ensure birth control is accessible and covered by insurance? People are tired of Washington politicians who won't grab the voters by the pussy. Huh? <laughs> Will a man with his history ever see women as anything more than sexual beings? What like is Charlize Theron? Uh, I would say a solid seven. Uh, women, Halle Berry. From the midsection to the shoulders. Go ahead. She's a 10. The face, the face. Is, is a solid eight. And the <laughs> legs right. are maybe a little bit less than that. I never thought she was good looking. But I, don't, I don't think she's got good skin. I don't think she's got a great face. I think her lips are too big, to be honest with you. you know, they look like too big. My aspirations in life should not be worrying about the shape of my ass. Mr. Trump has gone so far as to make sexual comments about his very own daughter, Ivanka. Well, she does have a very nice figure. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it! Oh, it's so weird! Be pretty! So, here's the tricky thing. Pretty, it's a compliment. But here's how this focus works to girls' detriment. Now it is time to calculate Donald Trump's sexual fitness scorecard. Is he presidential material? <laughs> Has his past prepared him to advance sexual health care and rights, especially for women? How do you ban abortion? How do you actually do it? Well, you know, you'll go back to a, a position like they had where people will perhaps go to illegal places. Yeah. But you have to ban it. I'm you ban it and they go to somebody who, who flunked out of medical school. No! <laughs>
If you become president, you might try to appoint justices to overrule the decision on same-sex marriage? I would strongly consider that, yes. It is a free country. And then you're just taking that away. Rape, adultery, intellectual incest, and inability to respect American women or any woman who wasn't raised in Hitler's path does not indicate that he will support women being allowed to choose what happens to their own bodies. Do you believe in punishment for abortion, yes or no, as a principle? There has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. Fuck that sexist shit! How they want to take care of their sexual health. Would you vote to defund Planned Parenthood, yes or no? Yes, as I would vote to defund. Or whom to have sexual relationships with. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. How many more women have to get knocked down before society stands up and stops it? His sexual fitness score based on his past is zero. He's running in the party of family values. He's on to his third wife at this point. As for family values, Trump appears to trade in his old wives for a younger model and intellectually molest his daughter in public. Now, most fathers with a daughter as successful as Ivanka might brag about her educational accomplishments, her professional success, or her strong family values. Yet, Donald brags about how hot she is. And as it turns out, Lewis, there's a long track record of it. Trump saying about his daughter, yeah, she's really something. And what a beauty that one. If I weren't happily married and, you know, her father. How's that for family values? <laughs> you mentioned the families, going after the families. What does that, what does that mean? By encouraging military leaders to kill the families of terrorists and encouraging Americans to kill a former U.S. senator, first lady, mother and wife, Trump shows no regard for human life or for the impact that such assassinations might have on families. Well, at least I would certainly go after the wives who absolutely knew what was happening. And I guess your definition of what I do, I'm going to leave that to your imagination. Whoa. I did try and fuck her. She was married. <laughs> huge news there. He speaks his mind and doesn't really care what people think. But sometimes the thing that's not presidential is what's on his mind. Burn! Trump's sexual fitness score for family values is a negative 100. And as a potential role model for sexual relationships, Trump sends a powerful message. All women should strive to look like models and be prepared for their value to diminish with age. What is it at 35, Howard? It's called checkout time. <laughs> and the fact that Trump's wife plagiarized Michelle Obama without even knowing it? I'd rather have a retarded, hot woman than a slob who's a doctor. If you're looking for a rocket scientist, don't turn in tonight. Right. But if you're looking for a really beautiful woman, you should watch. Absolutely. Society teaching girls that our bodies, boobs and butts, are more important than our brains? Infers that a woman's intellect is not nearly as important as her ability to withstand being controlled sexually and financially. Some of these foreign girls, you know, Mr. Trump, in my country, we say hello with vagina. <laughs> and well, you could also say as the owner of the pageant, it's your obligation to do that. So, so you have done that. Here's a hot tip. Stop telling girls how to dress and start teaching boys not to fucking rape. Heels got higher and the bathing suits got smaller. Are there and, then I, and I was joking, true. and then I realized, <laughs> why am I defending myself? Yeah, because yeah. that happened to Are they too. thongs? <laughs> they are almost thong-like. You right. know, NBC, if it were up to me, they'd get smaller, but NBC has certain standards, so they're sort of thong-like. As a sexual role model, Trump scores a negative 500. I don't want someone controlling me who I don't like. Mm. Whew. Fuck focusing on how I look and give me a book. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Politics and Sex. I cannot wait to see you next time when we analyze whether Hillary Clinton is sexually fit to serve. I'm Dr. Sanjaya, and I look forward to seeing you soon at Sex and South Beach, where everybody comes to talk, listen, and learn about sex. And today's homework is... Go to sexandsouthbeach.com, join the VIP list for your daily dose of nookie knowledge. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and link up with me on social media for better sex to
tonight, pick up my book at Amazon.com and you don't want to miss the Sex in South Beach podcast on iTunes and SexInSouthBeach.com where everyone comes to learn about sex. Do you think Donald Trump is going to become the president? Da, 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 no. 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 I don't think he'll win. Fingers crossed he's not. <sighs> no. No. Or at least I'm hoping. I pray to God, no. We can end this nightmare before it begins. We can save the day. For our children. For our children. For our children. For our communities. For our communities. For our communities. For America. For America. For America. All it takes is all of us. All of us. All of us. We cannot pretend both sides are equally unfavorable. We can't say one vote doesn't matter. Your vote matters. Your vote matters. It affects everything.